Even though the Florida panther has been protected since the 70s, there are still less than 100 of these cats left in Florida. In 2007, 14 of them were killed. That's almost 20% of the population. And most of this was done on roadways by car strikes. The Florida bobcat faces a very similar situation. And just two days after releasing Chance the Bobcat on this busy highway, a baby bobcat was found. You may remember Chance's release. This is footage of him running back to the wild after being rehabbed at Big Cat Rescue. Chance had been found with only one eye and a hole in his side, but here you can see him running for freedom after he was successfully rehabilitated by Big Cat Rescuers. We live for moments like this. This baby bobcat was found right on the roadway on Lutz Lake Fern Road. We went back and listened in the woods for a mother calling for the baby, hoping to be able to reunite the two of them, but to no avail. It is always our intention to send wild animals back to the wild. They don't belong in cages. But this can be a very long and tedious process with a kitten this small. Crucial to their survival is having them not imprint on people. We don't want this bobcat to walk up to a person and be thought to be rabid or be shot. We don't want this cat coming into backyards and scaring people. We get dozens of calls every week from people who have seen a bobcat in their backyard. And not understanding bobcats, the people are fearful. They ask us to relocate them. They ask how they can get rid of these animals. And in many cases, these people have moved into conservation areas, places that were natural and wild because they wanted to be surrounded by wildlife. And then when they see the wildlife, they're terrified. So a big part of what we do is educate people about how important these bobcats are to our communities. Bobcats make great neighbors. They keep rats under control and they protect our agriculture here in Florida. You don't have to worry if you see a bobcat in your backyard. In fact, you should be thrilled. But we want to make sure that when we turn a baby bobcat back loose into the wild, that this cat's going to be a good neighbor. And so we want this bobcat to imprint on other bobcats, not on people. That can be hard when we're having to bottle feed the baby. So what we're doing now is we're looking for a mother cat, a domestic cat, maybe a feral cat, who is already nursing kittens. This way, we can bottle feed the baby and give her the nourishment that she needs, but also have her imprint on at least another cat if we can't find a bobcat. Meanwhile, our president, Jamie Veronica, is getting up every two hours around the clock to feed this baby and make sure that she gets everything that she needs to get a healthy start on life. It's so tempting to want to just scoop her up and shower her with kisses, but we understand that it's impossible for her to be a good member of society if she comes up to people after she's been released. We love her too much to risk her being able to be wild for our own selfish desires. We contacted our friends at Animal Coalition of Tampa and St. Francis, and they tell us that one of their supporters, Jack Talman, may have a mama cat for us. So stay tuned and see what happens next at Big Cat Rescue. <laughs>